watching ESPN baseball tonight or the MLB channel how a person's bat stays in the zone so long. Well, we hear these things, but we don't know how they keep the bat in the zone so long. So long. So what I came up with is a flashlight drill. And basically what Andrew's going to do is he's going to get in his ready position to hit. And for starters, what we'd like to do is put the, put the flashlight with the bottom hand. And all Andrew's going to do is he's going to go nice and slow and deliberate and shine that light on the baseball, on the tee that we have set five feet out in front of us. And I recommend the GT because that's one of the best tees I've found on the market. Now understand something, when we're hitting, when we're hitting, this right here is going to be our light. All right, this is where the beam of light's coming from. This is what we want to shine on that ball. So before we go any farther, this is why we're talking about holding the flashlight the way we do because this will represent the knob of the back. And this is what we want to shine on the ball. And if naturally, if it's lower, we're going to have to sink down more with our lower half. If it's higher, we're going to be more upright. Okay? So that's, that's where we're getting at. The beam of the light is the knob of the back. What we're going to do is, when Andrew does this drill, if he does it right, his light is going to work in a straight line and shine directly on that baseball. Okay? Therefore, in return, when I put this back in Andrew's hand right here, he's going to let go of the flashlight, but he's going to leave his hand. When he's holding that back, now his back is going to stay in the zone long when he hits. That's the only way we can get that bat in the zone because we hear people all the time talk about swinging down through the ball. Well, when I swing down through the ball, I swing down. My bat does not get in that strike zone until right at contact. What we're trying to do is keep our barrel in the zone as long as we can. That way, if we're a little early or late, we can still have success hitting the baseball. Now. One thing you can do to make sure they're doing it right and their hands are in the proper position is put a watch on them. If he's doing this right, when he shines that light on that ball, he should look straight down and see the time on his watch. Whereas if he does it wrong and he breaks down back here and shines the light, he can't read the time without looking back. We do not want the head to have to look back to see what time. It should be right here when our barrel's in that zone, and notice when I do this, my bat, when I'm shining the light, which is this will be considered the light on the bat, my bat, my bat is only about an inch away from my shoulder. So you hear all this, stay inside the baseball. I cannot stay inside the baseball any more than this right here. You don't have to have a watch. You can use your bat and glove, or you can use a wristband. Just make sure you have a reference point to know that your hands aren't getting too far or too far back because too far back is collapsing, okay? So go ahead and do that a few times, Andrew. Good. Now, notice I'm not talking much about the lower half because we can get in so much depth on this, but his lower half is working when he shines his light. Watch, his, watch the rotation of his hips right there. Nice. That's beautiful. Beautiful. A little over rotation, but that's okay right now. We're working on the pathway uh, for our hands to hit a baseball. It's very important that when your light shines on this baseball, we want it directly on the baseball. We do not want it pointing off the ball because if it's pointing above the ball, that means our bat head is dropping and we're going to be a steep uppercut, so we're going to get a lot of pop-ups that way. Notice if we shine on top of the ball, my barrel's now going to have to work down, and more than likely I'm going to top a lot of baseballs. I'm going to hit a lot of weak ground balls that way. Our goal is to shine this light directly on the middle of the baseball. And I should be able to read my watch. Now I know my hands are in proper placement. Too many times when we hit in baseball, we hit off the tee. We put the tee right here. Well, we're just hitting from here. We never let the ball get this deep when we hit. We actually make our mind up to hit the ball when it's out in front of us. So why do we start our swing when the ball is just right here? If we do that in the game, the ball's going to be in the mitt. It's going to be biased. Too many times when we hit off a tee, 
we think about making contact here, we don't think about the pitch out here. When we're hitting, we're going to focus on the baseball. But when you're doing this drill with your light, make sure your light is working in a straight line to that ball. If you notice your light getting outside, that means you're going to have problems. You're going to have to pull and come off that baseball to hit it. So let's, but when you're doing this, be slow and deliberate and work this light in a straight line right onto the ball. You're never too early to start creating good habits. Now, Christian's going to go nice and slow, and he's going to shine that light onto the ball. Good, good. Now, notice Christian, what we're doing right now is Christian's raising up a little bit, which we'll get to later. But right now, we're just working on the pathway of the hands. Everything working is keeping our connection, shining the light on the ball. Okay? Good. Softball player, same swing, you got a round ball and round back. So it doesn't make a difference whether it be baseball or softball, it's the same process. Now Natalie's going to work on shining the light on the ball and she's going to keep her light in a straight line and shine it on that ball. Not bad. Not bad at all. And not bad. And like I said, if Natalie, go ahead and do it Natalie. Work it and hold it when you shine your light. If she's doing it right, she should be able to look down and see what time it is. Or if you want to put a dot or, like I said, a wristband, have something right there, uh, you should be able to read. we got 17 years old. Now all he's going to do is nice and slow, shine the light directly on the ball. Good. Beautiful. All right. Do it one more time. Good.